All right, uh, this is going to be a very short video that I'm going to share with you, but it's going to be more of a public service announcement. For those of you who are planning to buy the Samsung phone, that is the Samsung Ultra or Samsung, any of Samsung's flagship uh, phones, I'll just share with you a very scary incident that took place. And uh, this is because it has happened to me for the first time. And um, I realized that it was not just me, it is quite a number of people. Now, I have the Samsung S22 Ultra, 24 Ultra, uh, the Fold, the Flip, the and two, three other Samsung devices, okay? And um, I've always been an Apple fanboy, but I wanted to see what is the technology of Samsung and other Android phones. And my wife likes, uh, loves Android, not likes, loves. So what happened was um, I gave her the S22 Ultra to um because she wanted to make videos and her phone was pretty old she had a huawei she had a real me she had a uh what is that uh uh one uh t pro one plus t pro uh, the these are the phones i gave her so later on i decided i'll give her the s22 ultra as you know instead of selling it so and she started using this to upload videos especially to her Facebook and she created a new Facebook, uh, sorry, YouTube channel, Macedo Family. Okay, if you want, you can subscribe. It's up to you. It's just family kind of videos that she's making. Now, I take care of all my phones, all my devices. If you actually look at it, all of them have protective uh, casings. Uh, this is the iPad. This is the other iPad. All of them have very, very durable casings. Even uh, my fold and the flip have like auto box. So I make sure that they have the top of the range kind of uh, cover. And my S22 Ultra has the auto box. This is the military grade. It's so heavy and so strong. You can hit someone with it and uh, you know, it'll literally um, knock them unconscious. It is that heavy. Okay, so I gave the S22 Ultra to my wife with the auto box for cover, uh, for protection. And, you know, she really takes care of it. So everything was going on fine until, uh, you know, every time Samsung has this habit of giving updates, you know, click here for the latest update. And uh, one day she, just two, three days ago, she came inside and she said, something's wrong with the phone. So I said, what happened? And, um, I don't have the phone with me right now because I didn't plan to make the video and my wife is tired. Okay, so what happened is after she um, gave the update, when the phone restarted, you can see this is the center of the phone, right? This is the center where the uh, eye of the phone is, the camera. This, from the eye of the camera to the right side, you can Google search if you want on YouTube, uh, there's a bright white light, very bright, okay? And uh, when she showed it to me, I said, uh, the screen is damaged. Like, what did you do? So when I asked her, what did you do? She said, nothing. I just updated the phone because it said there was a new software update. And there's a very bright, very, very bright, like if you're looking at the phone, if you're looking at the phone, um, I wish I had taken the phone. She's sleeping. I don't want to disturb her. From this side of the phone, from this side, okay, all the way to this side, from this side, all the way to this side, there's a line which is very, very bright, okay? And obviously, the screen is damaged. So I was like, what the hell actually happened? And then when I searched online, to my shock and surprise, I found I was not the only one. I found out that most of the people who updated their phone with the new software update have had their screens damaged. Now the only way, the only way to remove this bright light is to remove dynamic, uh, uh, I think dynamic display and to put it on battery saving mode. The screen goes dim. You have to reduce the hertz of the Samsung phone and then it vanishes. But if you put the phone normal, not like high performance, that bright light will come again and it will literally burn the screen. And here's the funny thing. It didn't get damaged because the phone was dropped. It got damaged because she downloaded the 
updated uh, security update and uh, it seems everyone who purchased a samsung phone has now had their screen damaged and if you take it to the authorized samsung uh, dealer we also went there they will repair it but they will say it is not their fault even though it was their update they'll say it is your fault okay in some cases people who have had samsung s plus care it seems didn't have to pay that much, but they still had to pay. When we went, they charged us, they told us they'll charge us 7,000 baht uh, in total. Um, and they they tried to play around and say, no, you dropped the screen and all that. I said, say, listen, we use the high grade uh, casing and you can check there's no crack. So I didn't want to argue with them. But uh, it's so funny and um, you know, after I saw all the reviews on Reddit, I saw all the complaints that were there in YouTube. It seems that this is a software glitch by Samsung. Once they release a new update, if the phone is not compatible or if you know certain categories of phones, the screen gets damaged and you have to replace the screen. What I realized or my conclusion was Samsung is using this technique for planned obsolescence whereby if you have a good phone which is old and it's in perfect condition obviously you're not going to buy any phone so obviously they don't have a customer obviously you're not going to buy any accessories from them so in order to force you to literally either repair or exchange the phone and buy a new phone this is one of their illegal so to say um, uh, technique it's really a shame i my wife was very very upset she was like i always love the samsung phone i always love that brand but if they are giving you a software update and it's damaging your phone they should repair it for free but they are charging you for a brand new you know screen display so she was very upset and uh, for me, I was like, oh, bloody hell, man. And, you know, even my, um, the Samsung Fold, uh, I've hardly used it. It's like pristine condition. The center of the screen, you can see these bubbles are forming, no? If I keep it open very soon, this whole thing, this is from the manufacturer, a screen protector. This whole thing will show a bubble, massive bubble right in the center. And when I ask them, like, uh, can you replace and change it doesn't look nice that lady because I was polite to her she said please don't change it because after a few weeks of putting the new one again it'll form and then you'll be upset I don't want to spoil the relationship so I'm very disappointed with uh, Samsung where I kind of started getting you know uh, kind of feeling of respect towards Samsung for its products I thought that they were legit I thought that they really, you know, they really were a competitor to Apple in the sense that they really took care of their customers. But after realizing how they are playing around, and for me, Apple is a safe bet. And I also checked videos whereby, I'll put the link below where you can see the light. I'll see if I can get a photograph of it. Um, and um, it seems that there were even instances where after you upgraded, there were three lines, the three lines of death where the phone completely uh, is not usable just imagine for people who spend a fortune to buy these phones like um, you know i don't know how much it costs in in your neck of the woods but if you spend a thousand thousand two hundred us dollars and you get a phone like this and in the end it's completely damaged you lose faith in the product yeah. you lose faith in the brand it's a shame it's a shame how these companies are trying to you know make money in such a illegal and unethical fashion i've lost respect for samsung i've totally lost respect and uh, yeah whatever phones i bought i bought uh, i don't think i'm going to take a risk and uh, I'll, I'll tell you honestly i'm very afraid now to uh, update to give a security update because i don't know and the phone can just you know the display can just get destroyed then what the hell so if you are a Samsung fanboy and if you're planning to buy it, I would say buy it with the S plus Samsung Care Plus or something like that so that uh, they will repair it for free. Otherwise, I think uh, you're asking for trouble. 
okay and if you think mine was an exception um, just search online you'll find plenty of such cases where people have purchased the phone and this white line of death has ruined the screen permanently so now my wife can use it but she has to use at subpar you know uh, graphics subpar refresh rate and subpar brightness only then otherwise the phone is useless anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly love to hear from you this means signing off